morning students i think you will be very enjoyable at your home today i have brought a very uh, important informations about syntax actually i have discussed about uh, syntax in the first part today in the second part i am going to discuss more and more about syntax i hope you will be very rejoiceful or enjoyable to get knowledge from this chapter so please watch and listen to very carefully this part i hope this chapter will be very fruitful, fruitful to you normally the subject is placed before the verb but in the sentence beginning with there the real subject is placed after the verb so we have to be very careful in the use of the verb in this rule it is been spoken to the learners that the sentences having there in the same sentence you will get the actual noun between the sentence and the verbs are used not only as per the there at the verbs are used as per the plural or singular nouns h have come between the sentence now i put an example there is a student in the class here in this sentence a student a student refers to a singular noun so the verb is used as per a student in this way the correct usage of the verb is there is a student in the class now i put another example there are a lot of students in the classroom in this sentence a lot of students a students here is a plural noun and are used as per the students not as per the there uh, as i am discussing i keep another example before you there is a cup it is used as per a cup a cup is a singular noun there are many students in this school here are is used as per the students now i hope you will have caught this rule very well now i go to the other rule now next rule each every either neither and one of with them singular verb is used just listen listen to it once again verbs are used singular with each every either neither and one of i put 
वन बाय वन एग्जांपल्स रिगार्डिंग दिस रूल प्लीज लिसन टू वेरी अटेंटिव अटेंटिवली और केयरफुली ईच ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हैज डन देयर होमवर्क इन दिस सेंटेंस verb is used as per each not as per students either of the two candidates is perfect for the job here in this sentence verb is used as per the either so i repeat this sentence once again either of the two candidate two candidates either of the two candidates is perfect for the job neither of the two plans is suitable neither of the two plans is suitable everyone knows the secret now everyone knows the secret now one of the new employees has helped me to complete this project well you have watched you have listened with these words verbs are always used in singular form please listen to it once again each either neither uh, everyone one of them with them verbs are used in singular form next next rule either or neither nor when two subjects are connected with either or or neither nor the verb agrees with the latter subject it means that it will be clear when you study the sentence when you read the sentence either the manager or the employees were telling a lie here first noun is manager and second noun is employees and as per this rule verbs are used as per the latter subject so latter subject is employees and employees is a plural noun that's why you can use plural verb next neither the moon nor the stars are shining today here in this sentence there are also two nouns the moon and the stars the star is next to the moon so as per the stars a stars is is after noun or you can say that after subject as per it verbs are used in singular or plural neither the moon nor the stars are shining today verbs are used are as per stars now i am just skip on to next rule now much and a little verbs are always used in singular forms particularly with much and a little listen to it once again verbs are used singular with much and a little i put one by one example before you, you all learners much has already been said much has already been said here verb is used has as per the much next 
only a little of the work has been completed only a little of the work has been completed here in this sentence as per the a little the verb singular is used and now last rule of this chapter many a few several and both these are plural words and with them you do have to use plural verbs now i put one by one example from them many of these a students were absent yesterday here as students and many but verbs are used as per many not as per their students next a few of these houses are still vacant here a few is a plural word and as per it verbs are used in plural forms next several of the shops are closed today here in this sentence several several are plural words so according to it verbs are used in plural forms both of the cast have arrived here both is also a plural noun a plural word it is not noun both is a pronoun and it is a plural pronoun that's why we can use here plural uh, you know plural uh, verbs definite and the sentence would be both of guest have arrived so these are some important words in this chapter which i have discussed in front of you i hope you would be much more beneficial to watch and listen to this uh, video and the lecture thank you and have a good day take care